Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today we're actually going to be uh, checking out something new. Um, what I have in my hand in itself is not anything new. This is the Dragon Claw from Air Venturi. It is a 50 cal. Uh, this this uh, big bore air gun has been around for a long time. You can find a lot of different reviews and information about it. Uh, it's a great uh, deer gun in its bone stock format. I believe it's roughly 230 foot pounds of energy. It's really awesome to shoot bolts out of if you live in a state uh, that is legal to shoot air bows or air bolts. So what I'm here to talk to you about today though, what is new about this, is something I saw at SHOT Show uh, a couple years ago. There was a report uh, that came from um, Pyramid Air, I believe, and it was about this company called Cap Dragon. And what Cap Dragon does is they take this platform and they double the foot-pounds of energy on this thing without increasing pressure. So you're basically just shooting off 3,000 PSI pressure like a bone stock Dragon Claw but because of their super efficient valve design on the inside, they have figured out a way, supposedly, I'm gonna be doing some testing today, to double the foot-pounds of energy. So what that means is to basically make their claims accurate is that we're gonna take this from 230 to 460. So if I can hit 450 to 460 foot-pounds of energy today, I'm gonna to call that a success and I'm gonna call it somewhat of a game-changing um, situation with air gun technology because if you follow my channel and you kind of follow big bore air gunning in general, typically to get big numbers, what we're doing with guns is we're putting longer barrels on them, we're increasing pressure, we're putting heavier hammer springs and heavier hammers into them, we're just basically pounding the crap out of a valve to get a ton of energy. And so the theory behind this is basically doing more with less. and. Uh, so yeah, so we're gonna be doing some testing today. We're gonna be using three different kinds of ammo. We're gonna be using some 385 grain uh, hollow points. We're going to be using some 240 grain Mr. Hollow Point hollow points and some round ball. So when I first got my hands on this, this uh, bone stock uh, Seneca Dragon Claw, I wanted to start a series of videos to talk to you guys a little bit about um, deer hunting with, with big bore air guns that are below 300 foot pounds of energy. Uh, in my experience, the more I do this and the more years I go out into the field to hunt deer with big bore air guns, um, you can kill a deer with, you know, probably 160 to maybe 200 foot pounds of energy if you're like at 20 yards, perfectly broadside. Uh, you know, but then you start talking about sort of like ethics of hunting and a lot of times, uh, statistically speaking, are you going to have that deer stand completely broadside to you? Um, there are states like Texas that require 215 foot pounds of energy to even hunt with a big bore air gun. Uh, here in Michigan, it's only 35 cal and higher. But I always tell people if you're thinking about getting a big bore air gun, basically just if you're going to be hunting deer, invest in the highest FPE rating big bore air gun that you can afford, even if you have to save, you know, a couple extra hundred dollars to, to get to that point. And the reason being is that deer just have a really bad habit of not standing 20 yards fully broadside to you when, when you're hunting deer. They like coming in at 75 yards, quartering right at you or quartering away, or maybe a hundred yard shot, or, you know, these, these shots where that extra FPE, do you need to get up that high? No, but it, what it does is it's giving you basically more or less a, an insurance policy that you're gonna basically gonna get through that vital zone. I mean, I'm a big proponent of uh, the heart lung shot, getting through both, both lungs is gonna take that deer out the fastest. And you know, in order to do that, you, the, the more FPE you can get, the better. So I'm not saying that you can't take this deer hunting, bone stock, 230 foot pounds of energy. There are tons of guys online that I've seen that have taken deer 20, 30, 50, 60, 75 yards with this thing on bone stock. But if this is true, if they were able to double the foot-pounds of energy on this thing, I would say that as a go-to technology to take this platform, if you really love the Dragon Claw, which I do, I think it's a great looking gun. Let's check it out. Let's see if we can verify those claims. So let's fire this up and we're gonna do some testing. We're gonna be just setting up a, a swinging target at 25 yards, smack some steel. So, all right, let's check it out. All right, so real quick, to fill this, you have to remember these gauges on these guns are often Pretty far off um, so I trust the gauge that's actually on my tank um, I've verified this with a digital meter and that's right at uh, 200 bar right there and but yet on the gun it's gonna show about 220 so you really do want to make sure um, you verify or at least kind of know your gauges so that's where we're gonna start off um, all right let's shoot some strings 
All right, also today we're gonna to be using the uh, FX Air Guns uh, Pocket Chronograph. This is a wireless chronograph that pairs with your uh, iPhone or Android phone with an app. So what this does is it actually uses radar to um, calculate the velocity of your projectiles as compared to having to shoot over a traditional chronograph where the uh, light sensors have to be able to see the projectile. So since this is using uh, radar, um, it does, basically you can shoot this in any light conditions. So yeah, we'll be using this today. Uh, definitely check the description below. I'll be showing uh, all the different shot strings that we were able to accomplish with this gun. But yeah, I definitely think this is a must have piece of equipment for any air gunner, hands down. So yeah, we are gonna be running the uh, Great Plains 385 grain slugs. You know, these this is some pretty big heavy uh, lead for this gun. So if we do hit the numbers, you know, we're gonna be looking at trying to get it up there uh, in that 450 to 460 foot pounds of energy range. They basically hit that stated claim that they've been able to double the power on the stock uh, Dragon Claw. So, yeah, I mean, hunting deer, um, it, it's probably gonna be pretty loopy uh, at that velocity. So um, typically I'd probably move down to about a, like a 220 to 240 grain, but just to hit those big numbers, let's see what these will do. All right, here we go. Shot number one, 3000 PSI, 385 grain slugs, here we go. I hope you see it in the numbers because I will tell you in the shoulder, my, my shoulder meter is telling me that was a ton more power. Wow. Man, that, that had some pop. All right, here we go. Let's try another shot. Here we go. And again, you know, for deer hunting, everybody has their own preferences. I honestly prefer just to get that first shot is going as fast and as much energy as possible. I mean, when you're deer hunting, I know I'm not out there taking a bunch of shots. I'm really just worried about that first shot being ethical, lethal, and then learning my holdovers after that. So as these drop off, that's how I actually prefer it. I know some people, they like tuning their guns to get three shots, kind of about the same velocity. And for, you know, for good accuracy, uh, consistently for over three shots, that's probably the best way to do it. But I prefer personally, to get that first shot, zip it out there as fast, as much energy as possible, be able to take a little bit longer shots, trying to get that double pass through on the deer, get good penetration. So let's see what this does. Shot number two. Nice. Again, hope you can see it in the numbers because <laughs> my calibrated shoulder is telling me that that's got some serious pop to it. All right, here we go. Last one. Oh, yeah. You can definitely feel it dropping off from shot to shot, and you'll see it in the numbers. But, um, you know, again, if you learn those holdovers for your first three shots when you're deer hunting, you know, if you're taking more shots than that, you, you really probably need to get to the range. So, all right, let's move on to uh, some of those 240 grains, and then we'll move on to some round ball. Let's see what it'll do. All right. All right, so for this three-shot string, we're going to be using the uh, Mr. Hollow Point, uh, massive hollow points. These are 240 grains. So these are probably more along the uh, grain size of slugs I would use for deer um, with a gun like this in this velocity range. So you want to flatten it out, you know, a bit, making sure you're staying within that uh, vital zone, kill zone range, you know, out to about 100 yards, maybe about 75 yards with this gun probably. So, but yeah, let's see what these will do. Here we go. See what we can do. We'll do a quick three shot string. I'm assuming these are going to be moving quite a bit faster than those 385 grainers, but uh, yeah, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can just feel the power difference. You'll see it in the numbers, but let me tell you, you can, you can definitely feel it too. All right, here we go. Shot number two. <laughs> All right, last one. Man, these Mr. Hollow Points are just awesome slugs. All right, here we go. Shot number three.
man, I'm just telling you, that extra power just brings a rejuvenated sense of love for this gun. Uh, a lot of guys, when they get into big bore air gunning, usually the Korean guns are some of the first guns that they, maybe they got years ago and they've moved on to some other things. But, man, if you want to breathe some new life into your, uh, your Dragon Claw, man, I'll tell you what, those guys over at Cap Dragon... Ain't no joke. I'll be completely honest. I thought I thought they were totally full of crap <laughs> when they when they first told me what they were doing. But uh, man, those numbers don't lie, and there's definitely a lot more pop in that gun now. So, all right. So let's move on to some round ball and see what that does. All right. So last up, we have got the Air Venturi round ball. Uh, these are 177 grains, uh, size 495, I believe. Um, you know, I've personally have never used these to hunt deer with, but there are a ton of air gunners out there that have been using the uh, the dragon dragon claws and the different Korean air guns that you know they swear by them. You know, if you can pop these accurately, 40 yard shots, 50 yard shots, you know, they're they're a great go to ammo. What's great about these is that your velocity is going to be pretty high. You're going to be slinging these a lot flatter. Um, you know, I have had some guns that shoot these great. Some guns basically throw curveballs with these things so but just today we're just doing some uh, velocity testing so yeah let's see what these will do uh, let's take a three shot group um, one thing that the guys over at cap dragon was telling me about is that with the cap dragon if you notice it's got one two three four different settings on the power level and that's actually the, a custom thing they do in their in their setup so what they were telling me is if you drop this down to uh, one of the power settings below full that you can basically be shooting these things like all day long and it really just flattens out that uh, that shot curve and uh, but yeah for again for deer hunting we're gonna go all the way up to that full setting see what these will do let's go all right we're just gonna do a three shot string here we go, shot number one. <laughs> Man, with a round ball? That, that still smacked that plate pretty darn hard. If we look at these numbers, based on my projected calculations, these should be still slinging some pretty heavy foot-pounds of energy. So, all right, here we go, shot number two. Nice. Man, I can't wait to get an optic mounted on this thing. I think I'm going to be putting the uh, the Element Helix on this gun. Right now I'm just shooting in open iron sights here at about 25, 30 yards. But man, I'm going to pop a Helix on this thing. Dude, this, this is going to be fun. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That is awesome. So, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll be completely honest. Uh, when Mark at Cap Dragon, I saw him posting online about this thing, and he was throwing out some pretty big numbers. Now, one of the things that the Cap Dragon does do that I'm not testing today is that they actually do different kinds of seals inside this gun that make it compatible with helium. Uh, as you may know about helium, when you try to put helium in an air gun, you're gonna get a massive amount of energy. But the problem with helium is it likes leaking out. And so a lot of times the seals in a stock gun just aren't gonna work. So one of the things that Mark was showing when I first saw this thing was insane numbers, like over 800 foot pounds of energy with helium. And what was awesome about this setup and what got my attention quite honestly is his ability with this this whatever magic black magic dragon stuff they're doing in this thing is you're getting all of this additional energy and power and velocity on bone stock pressures we're not cranking this thing up to 3600 psi or 4500 psi i'm doing this with 3000 psi this is just a bone stock cylinder um, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing on the inside of this thing, and, the, and I know it's got a totally different valve, but, uh, but I mean, that is just impressive. To be able to double the foot-pounds of energy on 3,000 PSI, um, 
I'll be completely honest, I, ha I was proven wrong. I actually gave Mark a pretty hard time when he first came out and started posting about this, and I didn't believe it. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. Um, but man, there it is. You know what, again, a huge shout out to Air Venturi for, I mean, you know, Air Venturi and Pyramid Air, they've been bringing products like this into the United States, and, but this Cap Dragon setup has definitely breathed new life into this platform, so, if you've got one of these, I would highly, highly recommend sending it over to the guys at Cap Drag and having them modify it. And again, you're doing this with 3,000 psi, no crazy heavy spring, crazy amounts of, of uh, psi in, in the tank. So, yep, everybody, you can uh, pick these up at Pyramid Air. Uh, you can actually buy them directly through uh, Cap Dragon as well. But so, yeah, if you already got one of these through any of the other Air Venturi dealers. Send it off to Mark and the guys at Cap Dragon because, baby, that is some serious deer smackdown power. So there it is, everybody. Thanks for joining me. This is Chris with Up North Air Gunner. Take care.